Now then guys, I'm Thingy Magic and welcome to episode 28 Legion United's career mode All leads are we Now there are two games as always in this broadcast They are the final Premier League fixture of this season That's against Bournemouth, that's away at the Vitality And then to round off, it's the Champions Cup final That's against Borussia Dortmund and that's at a neutral venue so this is going to be the last broadcast in the All Leeds Are We season, the 2026-2027 season. Um, my 10th season in the Premier League will be starting on Monday. But let's see how this finishes off. I have actually won the Premier League already. But... Um, Put 23 5 I could put team 1 out both times I might make a few changes right let's do some training Still getting better. Rose is getting really good. Right, let's simulate them, let's see how the boys do. did well again. Manchester United beat me at last broadcast. Just glad the league title didn't rest on it. Callum Cart, let's go and have a look. Excellent. Ooh, 39 55 though. 45 to 61. 6'7. Good. Sign well, they're all. Are they going to throw me in a Croatian? Superstars out. 5 foot 11. Six in the break youth team that come.
Lost Lens. I've had an Edison race before. No, I'm not going to sign them. The overall's too low. some changes for this game Should be fit though. Because he's at centre, yeah, I wondered where he was at centre back. Need to work on Antus's dribbling. Go with a little bit of change for the last game. Pena's going in as a defender, need to work on his defence a little bit. So Gonna give Augustin start. <laughs> <coughs>
Right, that's what we're going with, is Bournemouth. Big welcome to the broadcast, guys. I'd like to thank you for stopping by and showing your support. Hope you are having a, a superb Saturday. to start developing a, a team round. But uh, nothing to come in and Take over. some scouts out there some more world class strikers where the contracts are ending Spurs didn't win that game anyway and to think I was so many points behind Lewis Cook I'm Martin Tyler, alongside me the familiar voice of Alan Smith. This should be a cracker today, really looking forward to it. It's Bournemouth playing today against Leeds United. Bournemouth are going to go with this team today. It does look more like 4-4-1-1 than 4-4-2. Yes, I think so. I mean, it gives the manager the option of stiffening his midfield. And when they get the ball, you know, that number 10, if that's what you want to call him, behind the centre forward, he can... Shreds it through. A ball, that one. Real opening now. Oh, it's poor defending. And it's cost them... Probably the right ball from De Costa. Well, certainly their Achilles heel. The manager turns away in disgust. They have been trying to put this right in training. But out on the pitch, well, they are the most porous defence that you could ever imagine. Really soft... And they've conceded like that said about me and Chesterfield. And, <laughs> and that goal has 
put Leeds United in front. So it's 10 goals Cook. in Champions Cup. 12 in league. It's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. And they cut it out. Kennedy. Cook. Neatly intercepted. Well, confirmation as if it's needed, really. Everyone knows now, don't they? Probing with the pass. That would be a throw. Here's Ryan Gould. And he's closed down well and stopped the cross coming yes, in. Spurs certainly felt a bit since. Here's Winks. A little private Last game between the two of them. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Oh, Here's shit. Winks. He's coming forward with some danger. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Good strong tackle. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Good place to win the ball back there because the pressure was starting to mount. And the interception was timely to say the least. Very good distance to the clearance. Chance for the cross. It's a good piece of defending to stop the supply into the centre. Hoskins. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Wendell. That attack was looking good. Now the opposition have a chance. Hoskins. Now he's looking for support. And he's got to get it away now. Here's Ryan Gould. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Shredding it through. Here's a chance. Oh, Gould. One in front. They would be a lot more comfortable if they were two in front. And they really could have been. Yeah, might they look back on that with a bit of regret because that was a great chance to extend the lead, wasn't it? Brilliant pass. Can he finish it? Can finish it off. Back out of the bar. Balls. And now a throw in. It's Harry Winks. Ryan Gould. Getting forward well as a team now. Bit predictable with the passing and the opposition able to deal with that. Cook. It's Harry Winks. Now they're looking to get forward from this position. Attacking now. I don't know whether the visitors will be being G'd up by their manager, not to take this one lightly, but it was a pretty comfortable win. They had the superiority on their own ground, but guiding it through. Oh, yeah, the multi. Drills it in. And they've got the equaliser. That will come in. Ozio MF, welcome to the broadcast. We don't always see it when the players run over to celebrate with the manager, but this boss, he's got a close relationship with his players. You could see it there. Well, great scenes of jubilation here. Having got that equaliser, had to work so hard to achieve it. It's Harry Winks. Now Kennedy. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. And here's the shot. Two. Oh, 
Well, that would have looked great if it had flown in, but in the end, it didn't fly very close at all. No, he looked a bit embarrassed after that effort. Just a flick on with the header. They kept possession. Should be. Too close. You do cover more ground with your touches. Balls. And he keeps possession with that header. Here's Winks. Well, they're in a good position here. Cook. Winks. Return pass. Bit of keep ball going on here. Trying to pick out someone in the center. It's Harry Winks. The referee has chosen to add on two extra minutes. He's Just booted forward under though. so much pressure. Now this looks promising. He's, he's. And it's a shot now. Cheating. He's put it over. Yeah, nothing wrong with the contact and power, but accuracy just off. Yeah, Kennedy slowed down a bit. I keep forgetting about that. So here we are at half time, and it's. And this is the start of the second half. Coming on strong and looking to play their way through now. That's a good spot by the defender. To put them in front. <sighs> Hit it hard, but not very true. He saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Wendell. Cook. He's coming forward oh. with some danger. Here's a chance. You can see what he was trying to do, opening up his body to place it, but he's placed it wide, sadly, for him. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Well, he stepped forward for his team there with that equaliser, but his team haven't been, what you would say, on the best of form. I'm playing shot as well. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Throw in so now. He can snap out of it for the Champions Cup final. That's a fine challenge, and he's got the ball. Cook. Hoskins. Remember the Champions Cup final? Next. Slipping it through. Supposed to go straight. Getting forward well as a team now. Get some Good pace on it. Until they got that challenge in. Cook. Here's Winks. And they cut it out. Here's Ryan Gould. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movements. now good defending 
Now we have a corner. Oh, never the corner. Deflection. Yeah, the referee signalling for the substitution to take place now. And he's going to go off, and he's going to go off to a huge ovation. Yeah, and look at him. He's lapping it up, and why wouldn't he? He's putting an awful lot of effort here. Quality. Oh, that's easy for the goalkeeper. Yeah. Cook. On to the attack now. Good football between these two. Nice passing. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Here's Ryan Gould. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Offside. The officials clearly in agreement. And that's a straightforward offside decision. Good forward play from them. Well, he clears the danger. Ryan Gould. Quick-witted and quick in his movement, too, to intercept there. Nice bit of interplay between these two. It's Harry Winks got the ball and they're going at the opposition with speed yeah, yeah, no, no. here's Roberts oh he could be in lovely ball but in the shot go Plenty of power, but not too much direction. Nope. Well, it's going to be a substitution now. Oops. Hoskins really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now and the pass not completed really super skills now Kennedy tried to tackle here and he's done that Right from the beginning, we've never known which way this game is going to go, and it, it's kept its drama right to the last. Well, it was easy on the eye, but in the end, pretty easy to defend against. Hoskins. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. Terrific match. Level still. Five minutes to go. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. With good vision. Coming on strong. Looking to play their way through now. Powerful clearance. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition. Now they're here. There will be a minimum of two minutes of uneaten. Cook. Hoskins. That's it. Level pegging between the two teams. And it's finished all square.
Well, that's it for this game. That's it for this season, and that's pretty much for you and me. Enjoyed it, mate. As always, Martin, they seem to go quicker and quicker. Can't believe it's been about nine months since that first ball was kicked. It's a good showing from him. I think he'd have hoped for a better result. That's about the third season on trot that I haven't seen him pick trophy up. Bournemouth 1, Leeds United 1, <laughs> Brighton and Hove Albion 2, Liverpool 2. So what do those results mean to the league table? Seventy three million. My role at the club. Anu Pong! Good afternoon, buddy. How goes it? And let's simulate them. Let's see how the boys do. Freezer's done well again. That's good to hear. You joined me just in time for the Champions League final. Champions Cup final, sorry. CL is terrible. <laughs> ah, Man City win the Euro League. Unsettled by lack of matches. It astounds me sometimes.
<laughs> it is weird. Yes, I'll agree with you there. Good afternoon, Zeeps. How goes it? You're not wrong there, no. Apart from Leeds, we've been top at Premier League. This is his ninth season. Um, probably about an hour, Zeebs. Oh, I realised I did Vegara twice. Damn. I've got to play this final game and then go get some eggs and something else from shop I can't remember what else it was I've got a list I did see that game yet I know um, I, I'm not 100% sure whether it'll be today James. I will let you know though It's like when Leeds shockingly lost to Sunderland. Yeah, but it won't a cup final though this time, won't it? But yeah, they did, yes. Excellent. This will be Bellerin's last game. Leroy Sane's last game. Varane's last game. Rinaldi's last game. Havertz's last game. Sancho's last game. Humphreys Grant's last game. I think that's it for now. Yeah, Ben Watson. It was quite a good goal. Quite a good goal. Well taken, anyway. <laughs> scared of him. <laughs> I don't think they're scared of him. Sometimes you just have one of them bogey teams where you lose a lot to them. Can't do it about them contracts. Mind you, I could go sign up for note in a bit. If 
Vergara looks good. Do you know you used to manage Swansea before that? You you're leaving anywhere, shoves your tit. He'd played for Wigan before, but he was manager of Swansea. Before Brendan Rogers. He was back before he actually left. Now that's speed. <clears throat> Fourteen point seven. I turned big enough as down at beginning of season. He's already turned down a contract to Southampton and he is up for sale. He didn't want to play for a team or beat 6-0 in my last game. Over at five nil. It, the Liverpool deal went off on table when he turned Southampton down. Six nil it was. Very brave behind a keyboard. Why man what? It's been a season-long crusade, fitted in, of course, with the it could have been more. I went easy on them. How well they've done in the Champions Cup to reach this final. I wonder who. And I think that will second we'll find team as well. Enough. Well, this is a great day for the Champions Cup final. It's contested here. It's got to be played to a finish. And hopefully it will live up to the occasion, Alan. I think so. I think it will, Martin. I hope we rise to the occasion in the way that I think the players will out here today. Well, they're going to have World Cup in winter, so why not? Look at that 9-2 against Anderlecht. When we look at Borussia Dortmund, Try to pick a player who could be the main influence of them. Maybe we'll go for this fella, Alan. 
really has weighed in with quite a few goals in this competition. My top scorer's not even up. Not even starting. Leeds United, oh, last my time out, they were not. away from home. They drew against Bournemouth. Yeah, it was an entertaining 1-1, one, one actually. Might be a bit more exciting here, and I think they'll win. Oh, I this like you. the Borussia Dortmund lineup. Well, we've gone with a 4-3-3 formation here for them. Is that the way you see it, Alan? Yeah, I mean, it can be adjusted. It could almost be a 4-5-1 if they decide to come over all defensive, this team. But uh, if they're on the front foot, that three up front can cause the opposition back four some problems. Well, well, that position, then. A go, but it was nowhere near the target. Yeah, he took responsibility. The yellow he? wall. And, uh, he'll be hoping it's a bit better next time. Check for you see my on player, the then. Leeds United lineup. Getting forward well as a team now. No, see that the, that white thing there. The idea is to take it with you. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. He might be through. You turnip shitting cowboy hat. And maybe this is one of them. Yeah, maybe just caught cold there. Wasn't expecting Different. the chance to land at his feet and made a mess of it. But it walks weird. It's unlike him really to play the ball straight to the opposition. Mbappe. Ah, yeah. Excellent work with the tackle. Now don't get dragged around. Christian Pulisic. I'm going to go for really him, but decided not to. Turn the fuck out of here! Well, then it goes. And here's the shot. Yeah. Plenty of power, but not here's too much direction. Like and we're playing rugby. Should have got Trent next level. By players got to the good, not because they've got a name. Marco Asensio. to cut out the pass Cavalier now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch try one now. Bollocks, you could see that coming really significant moment Alan in the Champions Cup final this first goal well he was always the danger man and so it has proved and didn't he took it away beautifully Knocked it away from very close range. All about concentration, that getting the right strike on it. Nearly. He's screened the ball well there. Why did you go first, for it? Could have been a corner. Just as veered away, it'll be a throw. Put in from the wide area. Get up. The intentions of the opposition no, there passes are coming off, the interception. Yeah. Now this looks promising. The danger for Dortmund comes when they work the ball wide. William Cavalli. Zobni. The shot's off! On for placement, got his bearings wrong. Neatly intercepted. Oh shit, the blows him down well. Bruma. Attacking now. Tackle. Okay, Zebes. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. These days, even when we're getting rain like we're getting here, it just goes straight through. It does. Well, he's got his fist to it. Excellent work with the tackle. Ruma. Oh, he's given offside. Yeah, he's playing on the shoulder, but just needs to hold his run a touch. Doesn't need to go as soon as he did that. Mbappe. This could be a chance. Surely. 
No fucking way! Now Marcus Rashford. And now he's looking for some support. Mbappe! Yay! At last. Go and the ball of it twice at post. Or once, one of those two, two posts, one there, whatever. And the shots that have hit the post have been from the shitter angles and that. So away we go at one all. Cavalier. William Cavalier. Now Marcus Rashford. Yeah, it was something like. Ten games to go, maybe a couple more. I were out with top six and about 15 points behind. And decided to make some changes. Made some changes. I dropped Varan down to team two. I drop Starnade down to team two. On the attack here. Marco oh. The save from Rulli in goal. Marco Asensio. Mbappe. Needs to stay cool now. Significant piece of action here with this goal. Why did he run all that way around there? <coughs> Replay confirming for us here that the goalkeeper did get a touch, but not strong enough to keep the ball out of his net. Well, he is his own harshest critic, this lad, and he blame himself for that, I think, having got a and touch. I went through. William Cavallo. Stage where Mbappe has been out for three months as well. Cavallo. Nice bit of interplay between these oh, two. Oh, what? Could get the ball into the box now. Zogby. Quite as simple as you think to throw the ball to one of your teammates. William Cavallo. Mbappe. Got to take it with you. Come in. Dortmund smoothly on the move now. That's a great interception. Well, so far so good in the first half of the final, but Ooh. the lead is not a decisive one, is it? No, it's not, and they cannot afford to relax for one minute or else uh, they'll find themselves back on level terms. Them shots in the first well, the half, first don't half come back and bite me on my yeah, the chance for oh, just to down in that just a little bit behind. Dembele. Able oh, to come, come on. With, um, some sharp movement. Bruma. Started making some adjustments. 
not just with team as well by dropping them players. There's good progress with this attack. I love it, shot. Um, Bruma. Bruma. But changing how my defence plays or trying to. Down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. Zobni. Could be dangerous. Here's an opportunity, maybe. And shoots! Plenty of power, but not too much direction. There is a lot of interest in this player, but from what I'm hearing, Alan, the offer that's going to come in on the table, a definite offer, is from Liverpool. Wouldn't it just? I mean, the rumours have been swirling for quite some time. Let's wait and see if there's any substance to them. Oh, come on. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. Twice. Well, they're in a good position here. Mbappe! Now it's Usman Dembele. Neatly intercepted. Oh. Little private game between the two of them. Coming on strong. Looking to play their way through now. Real chance. Well, they've all gone to the defender to say, well done. Bank, welcome to the broadcast. Many thanks for stopping by and showing you support. Well, he had the chance to uh, get his shot away, even though he had to take it quickly. Should have done better. Well, this attack. Oh, come on. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Trying to slip it through. Excellent interception. They're yeah, all over the last few minutes, though. A bit. It won't be slipping it through. Bar and crossbar twice. Well, I think it's bar three to uh, crossbar. Oh, now come on, should, I should be talking now. Post three times, bar twice. To attack. Marco Asensio. Close to goalkeeper actually did get a touch on it, but I think it was a pretty good effort to do that much. Well beaten, really. Yeah, I don't think you can blame the keeper, Martin. He's looking at the yeah, for my keeper, I'm blaming <laughs> 3 1 the scoreline as we restart the game. Ferrara da Silva really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. William Cavallo given the ball away now he's in the belly and he knocks in the goal well if you look back through the archives you'll see that this player has scored quite a few from these kind of distances and it is a knack replay confirming for us here that the goalkeeper did get a touch but not strong enough to keep the ball out of his net well, he is his own harshest critic, this lad, and 
He'll blame himself for that, I think, having got a touch. I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. Alex Iwobi. Ah, oh, that's a shame. He would have been in the clear, but he's overhit the pass. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Clever ball. He's through here. Beautiful goal. Well, they've taken the low route here, and they've got themselves a goal well out of the keeper's reach. Well, scoring in any game is worthy of celebration. When you get two, it is special. And he is feeling that special delight at the moment. Well, it's a tough game for the team that are trailing. They're out of the contest, really. They're just playing for pride. They're really being torn apart. This could be probing the pass. Nice. Oh, what a Very save. Reaction save from close in. Great ball. Can he do it? In with a chance. What a lovely death finish that was. Well, he's doubled up here with his second goal. And he took it in excellent style, just like the first one. It is now an extraordinary lead. And you could say really game over. Mark Batra. Completely intercepted. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. They've gone wide, chance to get the ball in the box. Now the shot! Goalkeeper can only parry it out. They've got the ball back, the interceptor got it for them. I'm surprised he's got a penalty for him falling over it, at box. And he's claimed the ball too. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Attacking well here. Pulisic. Oh, they've shown him the inside. Can he pick somebody out with this pullback? Corner coming up. Corner played into the middle. Shots on here. And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. Get in. And final whistle, and that First time we won Champions Cup in a couple of seasons, that. But they are the champions. Alan. Yeah, absolute joy amongst those players they've worked long and hard haven't they over the course of the last nine months or so and boy they deserve it these are special moments for a very successful team congratulations to them well it's been a terrific final and a terrific tournament Right from the early rounds, the group stages, and here we are at the climax of it all, Alan. Yeah, it's the pinnacle of club football, isn't it, for these professionals? A day, a season they will never forget. What a campaign for them. They are Europe's elite. They have won the Champions Cup. Champions of Europe. 6-1 in final after going 1 0 down. Oh it was at the San Sierra. Well it's all part of a very special day this, isn't it? To go and share <coughs> the moment with the supporters. Yeah, and they know the family up in the stands too. It's one of those days you do not forget in a hurry. Brilliant scenes here. Well, you have to have the team photo. You've got to have a team photo, especially when they're all that good looking. Yeah, one of those lovely scenes that you'll hang on. It's not a bad way to leave, is it? Being 
League champions and European champions for Bellerin, Haram, and uh, what are called Haran's Shoves. Um, Leroy Sane. It's with Marco Asensio. It's quite a few of them. Yep, it will. I'll have to stop correcting myself, Zeebs, you're right. Well, guys, unfortunately, that's it for this broadcast and for this all Leeds Awe season. As I said, we managed to finish up Premier Champions League Champions Cup final and the Borussia Champions Dortmund Cup winners. One, the United so, very chuffed with that. Be a bit of a, well, not a bit of a, but a lot of a rebuild for the next season, which I will be starting on Monday. Yeah, Zeeves, thanks for stopping by, buddy. I'll see you in a bit. Um, yeah, we're starting the new Leeds season. Josh, the doctor. Welcome. Unfortunately, I'm just about to leave, buddy. I'll be back shortly, though, about half an hour. Um, yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this broadcast, and in indeed this season, it'd be awesome if you could hit that follow button. And if you do, please don't forget to turn them notifications on, then you won't miss any of my future shenanigans. Also, if you follow me on Twitter, which is at Thingamajig, and like my Facebook page, which is at Thingamajig TV, you receive posts when I go live and start reruns. You'll also receive regular posts containing discount codes from sponsors. You get notifications of the game clips and the past live stream playlists that are on my YouTube channel, which is forward slash Thingamajig, and there's loads of content on there, guys. Nearly 600 videos now. As always, though, Thank you for stopping by. I really can't thank you enough for taking the time out of your busy lives and your own hectic schedules to go and watch my latest gaming adventures. I will try and do better the next time. As I said, the next time with Leeds United, it will be the 20, 27, 20, 28 season, my 10th season in the Premier League with Leeds United. It'll be a bit of a new look team as well. But my next broadcast will be, like I said, about half an hour or so. That will be with my Chesterfield Road to Glory. I do hope to see you there. But until then, I'm Thingamajig, and I'll see you in a bit. Right, guys, I won't be long. I'll just finish this off, and then I will have to fly to the shops, and then I'll be back, and I'll be starting my Chesterfield live stream. So, again, thanks for stopping by. Stay safe. I'll see you in a bit.